Hello everybody! Um, basically what I'm doing today is a very special request for my friend D. Shout out to you, um, you guys um, in America and ouch! If you know that I threw my back or whatever it is, it's a nerve or whatever. So if you see that I'm in pain, that's because I am. Very much so. So, but I, I have a promise and I been you know postponing it well I had a had a request and today is the 4th of July and it is the big weekend for America people and you know it's Independence Day so she requested me to do a um, she actually got me um, some sort of like picture like and ask me uh, to ask me if I will be able to recreate it so I thought I will go a bit further and do the different thing because the picture she sent me was nice and everything but um, to be fair it was a little bit boring and it's just I thought I will ouch step out of the box so basically what do you need if you are happy with your skin whatever you know, use use BB cream, use whatever you like, uh, anything. I just recently discovered for myself Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush. I don't know if you can see it. I I like it. It's very light. If you can see, it has like most like consistency. I have my mirror. I hope I will be not in the frame. So just put it all over the face. What I did before, I did moisturizer. If you have. Um, your favorite anything you put all over your skin just do it if you don't put anything just don't do it but the thing is with this type of makeup it does attract a lot of attention to your face so you do wanna you know put at least some sort of tinted moisturizer or anything plus it is double protection from the sun rays because you'll be outside so I mean, just saying. It's up to you, it's not... I mean, I like the finish of this foundation, it's just very light. You know me, I like my foundation to be um, very, very much thin on the skin. But, um... I didn't know how you, it works. So I bought it anyways, because I wanted to try it. And you know what? It just this type of um, foundation. The even the the one who like to wear a lot of foundation might give it a go. It's not so much buildable, to be fair, and to be honest. But as I have it on my hand, I need to use it up because I don't like the waste. But as you can see, it just gives you this flawless, like slight. Um, glowy finish, but it's not, it's not heavy, and it will dry out. So the rest I usually do this. It goes on my neck, just so you don't have the mask effect. Okay, it's the weekend here as well. So as you know, a lot of kids, uh, everybody is doing refurbishing or something. So if you hear the noise, it's not related to me. You have to know. It was outside noise. Anyways, you're done with the foundation, and uh, my eye. Uh, something is in my eye, and I don't like it. I don't like things in my eye. Ah, uh, it was a hair. Anyways, um. Just check if your foundation blended well. Don't forget to put it, you know, all over. Just blend. So, for any type of makeup you want to, you know, like, if you want something fun and playful, you need to weigh out your options. The options would be, as it is 4th of July, so, you know, the usual white, blue, but this one is too bright, isn't it? And 
the red. That's. I have some cobalt blue. Is it cobalt blue or royal blue? You can mix it up. What you can do also, you can look up the options. Maybe you have some blue. Is it blue? It's like teal color pencil or dark blue pencil. Also, you might. What is it? Yeah, you might have the red one, or you can have. Oh, it's not red one, is it? It's a white one. You can have the white one or the red. By the way, why didn't I pick up the red? But you might somehow, you know, find that you have something like that. It's it's pretty much useless. It's a clown makeup, but you know, sometimes you buy things like that. Or someone has something, so you have to revisit your collection. If you have a small one or you don't have anything, don't spend a lot of money on it. Um, go for something like a pencil because that will not, you know, like acquire a lot of space to keep. And you might find yourself, you know, like looking for the pop of color, which is basically the blue, the teal one goes with almost any color. Of the eye, you you can get away with it. The best on the dark, the brown, the blue, blue goes as well. Doing any, you can wait. You know, you can get away with it. It it looks good. The white one, it's a classic. You can line it inside your waterline or put it on top of you know on top of your lids to make the other colors pop. The red one, I didn't pick it up, but. I will in a minute. Uh, it's the the lid. Uh, oh dear God, I cannot speak. I'm in pain. But bear with me. It's the lip color, so you can always use. Ouch! You can always use the pencils. So it would not be too expensive. For instance, like buying the Maybelline tattoo. I don't know how much it cost. In it's not expensive over here. So I'm assuming the land where it's made. It's not going to be too expensive, but it's quite a big jar. And if you're not, you know, it's fun, bright colors. And if you're not using them a lot, like I do with clients or on myself, you, you may find yourself like, what are you going to do with it? Are it going to expire? So, you know, just if you, if it's like four of you, just split the cost, split the thing in the middle with a spatula and share and share the cost as well. But if you know, if you're visited and you found yourself with the pencils, great. The thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna do it with the pencil because I suggest you get one. Anyway, I have the white pencil. My thought on uh, makeup, I said to myself, okay, look on the flag. There is stars, stripes, right? So it's a mixture of blue, and white stripes and the stripes no the, the oh dear god the stars are yeah and the stripes are white and red so I thought what the playful way to do it so I thought okay the one eye would be the blue and the white with the stars another one with the stripes and we're gonna play up the lips I don't know yet how but it will be fun anyway so follow me what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the white pencil and on this eye we gonna if you if you you want something simple just you know grab the pencil the teal one or no the first one goes teal one and the do Through the line, just like that. You can be careful or as sloppy as you like because that's fine. We're gonna blend it. But the main trick is just follow your lower line, lash line, 
upwards just like that just like you wanna connect it and then close your eye can you see it and pull it backwards that's what you can do guys and then and then what I want to do is to draw the stars but before that I'm gonna take the darker pencil and just paint it on top of it by the way this set this is Avon pencil, cobalt blue, and it has a little spoolie on the back of it. You know, the blendable spoolie, like this, the spongy. You can use the Q-tip. So what you can do, you can blend with it. It's very... That's very handy, to be honest. Very. Because what you want to do is for your makeup to stay in place, right? So that's what you do. If you messed up your liner, you can put it all over. All over like this. Just play with it, okay? If you have, by any chance, like that's what I'm saying, that's the options. If you have some sort of blue eyeshadow, that doesn't have to be dark. But if you have the dark one, you can use this. The sponge goes with it. If you have the dark one, just use it on top of the liner, just very close to the lash line. Can you see it, I hope? It's gonna set the liner and gonna give you the lovely, lovely shine. Okay? You can try, drag it a little bit on the lower lash line just to set it all up. Yeah? Can you see the depths? And then, if you have the lighter color, just to add some fun, you know. You don't have to follow every step if you don't have it. Just find it very lovely. Can you see if you close the eye, it looks like gradually very nicely mixed. So that's one eye done. What you can do, you can bake both eyes look the same with the liner and then add like stars on here and stripes up here. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm cheeky girl, so I'm gonna do it with with the red. You can do this the same thing on the other eye, or you can do what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the gel liner by Makeup Geek. There you go, and put it in my eye. Gel liners are a very cool thing, to be fair. You can put it anywhere you like. So, same thing like up here. You want to do the line, like following the lower lash line, and then connect. There you go. It could be messy, don't worry. You're gonna look fabulous, anyways. And if it's not working out, just remove everything and put the rest like it was an other eye.
you can use the, just the pencil if you have the pencil. If it's a lip pencil, use the lip pencil. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be like eyeliner. Just don't put it on a waterline. Simple as that. Because it's a gel line, I have to work carefully because it's gonna smudge. And I don't want a smudging, do I? But what you have to do is make sure the liner is very similar to what you drew on this side. I know it's gonna be different, but it's the fun time. You can do whatever, aren't you? So the fun part is to blend because this one gonna set. So you need to find. You can keep it like this, or you can draw some. If you have some eyeshadow, the pink one, you can use the pink eyeshadow to blend it all over. Just to give it like same feel. If you don't, there you go. You have two different eyes. But this is the time and the moment when you have to stick to what you do in order to see how you're gonna look like afterwards. And if you have something lighter, if you have some lighter, it's good. If you don't, just don't worry about it. Just blend. Just blend the pencil and you'll be fine. The thing that I do now is just playing with this, this pink with the pink, 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 very pink, pink eyeshadow. It's totally optional, but bear with me, you might like it. Anyways, what we have now, I just wanna use the white pencil. I wanna draw the line inside my waterline. There you go, this will open your eye. Trust me on that one. Do this on the other side as well. Because that's the connection time. What we're gonna do up here, it's the stripes. So the stripes, I'm gonna go like this. Because that's how they go, right? So, do this stripey. Don't worry, we're gonna... And up here, do the stars. Do you know how to draw the stars? I don't know. could be very messy. But how are we gonna connect it, you might ask. I I wanna draw the blue around it and take the red and draw it around here as well. Obviously.
it will connect itself. Obviously, if you have a pen. That's the extra moment the artist took to cover. But if you don't want to do this because it seems like it's gonna go out of hands, just skip this moment and just keep applying the stripes up in here as we agreed first. Because that would be enough, but no, I've decided to play, didn't I? That's what I always do. I can go overboard, but I hope it's, it's gonna play out well. Anyways, keep on working. So the stars aren't, but we have to. We have to work around the edges. Can you see it? I'm sorry if I'm closing it. I'm blocking completely, but that's what it is. Just tough work. I should have taken different pencil or something. It would be great to have a waterproof one, I'm guessing. I obviously don't have one. Not on me. But the purpose of this I mean, the red one will stick. Um, if you don't have, like me, you don't have um, waterproof anything. So just use eyeshadow if you have one. If you don't, just bear the fact that you might, you know, lose all your drawings. But what I do is just to put some eyeshadow, the blue eyeshadow on top of my stars. If you don't have the blue, if you have some glitter, you can do a setting with glitter. You know, just to make sure, because you know, you have to work with what you have. And uh, you should know, it's very, very uncomfortable to do on yourself. That would be great if someone can do it on you. <gasps> ah, my. And I can say with certainty I'm horrible at drawing the stars. But I hope you guys are better with this. So what you can do is grab something shiny and put it all over here just to make it three-dimensional. You know, not everywhere, but just to add to it.
you know, anywhere I see the blue color, I want to add some yellow because this, <laughs> that would be our flag. But to, today is about United States of America, so you guys celebrate. And we're going to celebrate with you. Okay, so, basically, what you want to do is to put a coat of mascara. It is essential. And, or, if you prefer, you can... Did I take my... No, I didn't. You can... As it is very, um... Bright makeup. You can try to put some falsies. If you have them. And by falsies, I mean false eyelashes. Ouch. Please be careful when you put things in your eye. Because it's painful. And... You can ruin what you do. To be fair, I don't want to put any mascara on the bottom lashes. Just because there is a design under there. Okay, so... Obviously, you could... Paint your eyebrows as well, but instead you can just lightly put some but you know what I'm gonna do and that's it final I'm gonna put some color in them depending on the side they are in. Seriously, otherwise it's gonna be like disconnect. Like, check this out. This is this is going well. And as I don't have, you can put if you don't want, you can you can put just the powder through it. What I want to do is to put some red through it. Just be careful with the red. I mean, for the further, that's why you want to put some. Uh, that's why you need to have like foundation on, because otherwise the red will draw attention to all the redness you have in your face, and it's going to be just too much for to handle. Okay, what I have, I want to put some. No, I don't. So you have your stripes, you have your stars, you can put some... Where's the white powder? If you have some white powder set... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You can set it... Yes, you can. You have some white powder or some white eyeshadow. Just set the stars inside. Just make sure, you know, as much as you can, that it stays in place. What you can do afterwards, you can spray some setting spray, you know, like Urban Decay does it at the MAC. It's very expensive, so I just rather set it with the powder. But if you have it already, why not use it? And the fun bit is the lips. So what I've decided to do is to have like dark lip fully the bottom one and this goes blue and that one goes red. No, it's not war it's not working this way. It's gonna be white lip. So watch me, just watch me, I'm sorry, I'm just stuttering. You don't have the right brush. Use your lip. lip. No, not your lip. But use your hand. Once that is done, make sure you wipe it off because you're gonna put it all over the place. And take pencil.
and show another side. So far so good. And, and obviously, the white, the white part of the trick. What to put it with? I don't know. I'm guessing just with my finger. I'm taking the color tattoo by my bling. And to make it more fun, you can add some color. Like this. And some blue, like this. What you can do, you can set your face if you are or you have oily skin. You can set your your face with the the powder, any powder will do, you know, like suit your your uh, needs. Um, if you have like dark circles under your eyes, I'm using Maybelline Fit, Con Fit Me Concealer, just a little bit to brighten up the area. Yeah, but to be fair, you don't really, you know, you can keep it like this because it's fun. It's gonna draw attention. So you can have like, you know, if you have some fun earrings or anything, you can put some blush if you like. I don't really particularly feel that it, 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 this makeup needs it, but um, if you feel like it, you might. And obviously, if you want to put some false lashes, you could as well. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're going to have fun recreating it. In, and if not, just, you know, draw little stripey stripes and some stars. You can see, you don't have to have skills. Even the skilled ones do fail. <laughs> have a great, great, great weekend and I hope to see you soon. Bye! Just a quick, I thought I'm gonna get some false lashes and stick it on just for a photo. But um, Adela, is it? Adela Demi Wispies, Wispies, just put some glue, it comes with it, but I use different one, doesn't matter which one you use, just tuck it on your lashes, like that, look down. Uh. It's stuck on my eyelashes. No, no. It's horrible. It's not comfortable to do. And I hope you're gonna see it. How I do it, but ah, oh. that's the trick. You stick it on top of your lashes and then tuck the corners. One and another one. Can you see it though? I'm sorry if I blocked it. Oh, well, there you go. So, you know, we take away this one. I know I, I can use the... Everybody... Well, not everybody. A lot of people use the... Uh, what do you call them? Tweeters. But um, I've done it both ways. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter um, how you use it. Or... Oh, um, you know, it, it it can be, for the beginners, can be comfortable, but if you are comfortable with your hands and you're not afraid to, you know, use it, make sure your glue 
dries out a bit, gets sticky. I have the, the glue from Ilamasca lashes and it changed its color when it dries out so it's good for me in that way. You can blow on it. It's no nail polish. So what I tend to do, I grab the longest because it's a demi vis piece so it goes longer towards the outer corner. So you just grab it, stick it, put it, wait for it. My own lashes are on the way, so... And there you go. Well, there you go. That's the finished look. I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you soon. Bye.